everyone and welcome back to a brand new what I wore in a week. Um, this has been really requested actually. I popped a question box on YouTube asking what you wanted to see from my YouTube channel. So loads of you said more what I was in a week's. What I was in a week's? That sounds awful. I thought I'd start today. I've actually ended up um, with a really busy weekend ahead um, which is nice because kind of gone from not really doing anything midweek to busy every day so I thought it was a good opportunity to start the new what I wore. So it's Friday night now and I'm just about to go out. Um, I'm meeting two friends for a bit of a spontaneous evening meal out. We're going to a place called Cottonopolis um, which is kind of Japanese-y kind of a bit of everything so um that should be really nice it's also freezing outside so it's one of those like what do you wear anyway this is my outfit of the night so i'll come a bit closer so these amazing earrings excuse the circles under my eyes but i'm so tired this week these earrings are from sorry jewelry and they're from the something navy collaboration and um i think i've spoken about them before on youtube but that absolutely amazing i just feel like they jazz up every outfit and also they're really lightweight i thought they looked really heavy but they're not they're so lightweight and they're not a clip-on either which really hurts my ears when it's a clip-on these aren't anyway i've got those on with this scrunchie from cos um i got this scrunchie the other day after eyeing it up for quite a while because i've had so much wear out of my h m velvet scrunchie that I've got but it's a much thinner version but this is like a really chunky one so I thought I know I'm gonna wear it so um it'd be nice to kind of change things up a bit and do like a big one outfit wise so this blazer I think is from sauna New York um and then I've just got very fine merino knit from theory underneath I wanted something a little bit warm but that wasn't gonna I wasn't going to boil in just in case it was warm inside there. Leggings from Under the Stories. And then I've just gone with my Paris, Texas boots. Just as I say, I want to keep it warm um, because it's a very cold evening. This looks enormous actually, doesn't it? This is outfit of the night, Saturday. No, it's definitely not Saturday. Friday night. Um, and I'll catch you tomorrow because I'm actually meeting my parents in Manchester. We're going to go out for a meal. And then on Sunday, we're going to Tim's mum and dad's house. So I'll catch you then as well with a slightly more casual outfit. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing tonight. And I better head off now. Hi, everyone. So it's the next day now. Had a lovely evening last night seeing my two friends. And um, we had a catch up. We went to Cottonopolis and then we went to a place called Jane Eyre to have um, a drink afterwards but yeah it was really nice to see them and catch up as I said I was going out I'm going out today I was going out today I am going out today with my mum and dad and this is what I'm wearing um I've just kind of I'm feeling a bit uninspired to be totally honest it's really 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 cold today so um I wanted something nice and warm so I wanted a bit of layering I absolutely love this cardigan by the way um nothing wrong with it at all I am obsessed with this cardigan but I just feel like I always gravitate towards the same style of look and that's probably because it's the most practical um and warm maybe but I always feel like I go to my leather trousers some sort of nice jumper and then boots but I guess sometimes when it's really so cold it's quite limiting as to what you can wear because I always think wide leg trousers quite drafty and then I don't want to put tights under them because I think it feels quite restricted and a bit bulky so I feel like you're left with limited options but anyway I've got this um fine knit um this is like a bodysuit on from novo london missima hoops chunky hoop earrings um the cardigan is massimo duty i do absolutely love it i think it's such a great cardigan um and then i've got with it my leather trousers from my collection uh, with naked fashion and then i've gone for these boots these are oldies from zara but they come right up to here so they cover the whole leg, which is another reason I went for this. I wanted trousers that I could get these boots under, but just because they're extra warm when the weather is like this, it's really nice to have the extra protection on your leg and the double layer. So that's why I went for that, to be totally honest. I think it looks quite bottom heavy, but 
because of the big chunkiness of the cardigan. I think I can just about get away with it. But yeah, just feeling a little bit uninspired at the minute, which is annoying because I just feel like I've got a lot of clothes, but I'm a bit lackluster in styling them. But anyway, um, we all get like that, even me. It's something we all have from time to time, a bit of, uh, of a lull and not very inspired. I do like this outfit and because we're going out for something to eat, it's nice to sit down and then you be able to see the top half of the outfit, which is my favorite bit. Well, obviously I love my trousers, but I think this top half looks a little bit dressier. Oh, and then I'm gonna put on some sort of big coat, maybe a scarf, gloves, and then I'm gonna go. Hi everyone. So it is Sunday now. Um, had a lovely day out yesterday with um, my parents, went out for a really nice lunch um, and then just came back to our house for a little bit. Um, and as I said today, we're going to see Tim's family. Um, so this is what I'm wearing. Again, it's another really, really cold day. So I just wanted to be nice and comfortable and warm. So I actually have had a lot of requests for um, like indoor casual but nice outfits. So um, I'm actually, I think I'm gonna film a video maybe tomorrow on that, which will probably be live already before this video. Um, so go and check that out if it's up. Um, but if not, then hopefully this will give you some inspiration as well. So I've got on this new little cardigan from Massimo Duty. They do the best cardigans. I've decided I've got a weakness for them because last night I actually ordered another one online, but I'm finding them so useful. Um, so I had the one on yesterday, which was so cozy and warm. It's quite elevated and I just absolutely adore it, but it's cream. So, um, it's a bit more limiting and obviously like, Sometimes if you're going out, you don't always want cream just in case. Um, but nonetheless, I've not ruined it just yet. But um, anyway, that's the cream one. Then I got this gray cardigan, which I'm loving, but it's very much more relaxed than the other one that I got yesterday, that was wearing yesterday. And then online, I've seen another black one. It's, it's called boucle, but it looks slightly more of a tweedy boucle. Um, I'm sure I'll be showing it on my channel if I do like the cardigan in the end. But I just thought it would be so useful because they actually brought out the black version of the cream one from yesterday and I regretted not buying it so much. Um, but I just didn't because I thought I already had the cream. But I really, really regretted it and I kept finding myself thinking I wanted maybe a black version. So it's not the same as the cream, slightly different. I'd say it's a hybrid between this and the cream one and it's in black. Um, so I really am excited to wear that. But anyway, I'm finding these kind of styles of cardigans really useful because not only do they add a lot of warmth, but they also um, kind of add an extra bit of interest to your outfit because jumpers can sometimes be a little bit plain and boring. <laughs> so um, I've just put this over the top of this Arquette Merino knit which you'll have seen me in countless times so it's just kind of a bit of an extra warmth my ysl belt just kind of goes with so much if you're wearing a bit more of a silvery tone um and it's not too in your face and then these barrel jeans from whistles this is their first outing i'm not gonna lie i thought they'd be really useful which is why i bought them and i feel like i'm struggling to style them a little bit i started with loafers on I've gone for the jeans because the loafers had gold and I felt like the gold was sort of clashing against the buttons. But anyway, it's just very comfortable. And then I've got these earrings on. I think these are my ones from Jennifer Bird. Um, and then my cos scrunchie, which goes really nicely with this. This is from last year. But yeah, this is just Sunday. Very casual. I think with these jeans as well, you've got to be careful not to have a, like a longer... Uh, or kind of boxy jumper with lots of fabric. Let's turn the brightness up here. Um, because otherwise you can end up with loads of fabric here. So I think you wanna go for something more cropped or tucked in to style with these jeans. Um, yeah, this is a look. Hi everyone. So it's Monday now and I just really wanted to quickly show you a casual outfit um, because my ones over the weekend have been like kind of smart casual. So this is very much a Monday morning, throw it on, um, get going kind of outfit. I'm actually gonna take Ottie on a quick walk. Our alarm didn't go off this morning, which I hate, 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 because we normally get up at six and it didn't go off. So I was so annoyed at that. I didn't do a workout, which I normally do because 
we got up late and I kind of wanted to get going. So anyway, I've just got ready. I'm gonna take Otty on a quick walk and then I can get back and get going, but I really hate it when the alarm doesn't go off because I just, I like my routine that I'm in and um, yeah, it just kind of throws me off a bit. But anyway, here we are. Um, so I've got this knit on, this is from Sazam. Nice and cozy because as I explained, yesterday i think it's freezing at the minute um these are knit i think they're a cashmere blend jogger from h&m but our cat do some cashmere ones which i've also just got and i just find them so useful i think in the knitted style um it looks a little bit more chic than like a sweat jogger so i quite like the knitted look my chunky boots from flattered this coat is our cat honestly i absolutely swear by these I've got Tim's mum on one, Tim's sister-in-law has now bought one um, and yeah I just find them so useful, so cosy, so warm. They're pretty much water, I don't think that advertises as waterproof but I would say they're pretty much waterproof. I couldn't recommend them enough and this this one has a hood too. Um, so this is like a kind of blacky navy shade. I've got my Ghani hat on and just finished off with my Vela Sunnies because it's quite bright outside. Um, and it hides my tired eyes. So yeah, this is casual outfit on Monday. I'm not sure I'm gonna be showing you another one um, today, but this is kind of what I wear. And then I get cracking on with filming, so I'm in and out of lots of different outfits, but I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow for my next outfit. Hi everyone, so it is Tuesday now and I've actually just filmed some back-to-back -back videos for YouTube and for Instagram. So, a little bit worn out, but I'm um, gonna head to the post office. I've got to collect some parcels. So I'm gonna do that. I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. So um, I've got these earrings in. These are from, I think these are Monica Vinader. And then this oversized scarf from Monkey, which I just kind of live in at this time of year because it's so cozy. And I love the cream shade too. Uh, I don't think it's available anymore though, sadly. Um, my coat is from Marseille, London last year. I've got this pull end crossbody. I've got my uh, YSL sunnies on because they kind of tie in quite nicely to the outfit. Um, trousers, I've got my collection with Naked on. Um, and then I've just put these um, trainers on from Mango. I love these. And they're also really, really comfortable. And I like them with the with a black sock as well, just with the black trousers. Um, so yeah, this is just a really easy, uh, kind of running around, throw it on look, nothing too exciting, um, but comfortable and gets the job done. Hi everyone and welcome to Wednesday's outfit. Um, it's very much a running around, very busy kind of day today. Um, my first thing I'm gonna do though is get my nails done. Um, so this is what I'm wearing. I've just filmed two reels. It's not even 10 o'clock yet and yeah I'm just wanting to be cozy find a quick outfit and then I can shoot out the door so I'm wearing this new knit this is actually from Dish so if you're not familiar with Dish they're an Australian label and they do mostly kind of summer wear obviously with it being Australian um, they do the most beautiful linens that I've had and wore all last summer, the most beautiful, beautiful linen dresses, separates, that kind of thing, um, trousers they do, um, so many good pieces. So I actually decided, well, I've got one black dress that they sent over for warmer weather, um, but then also they did this knit. So I was like, oh yeah, I'd love to try this out. And I really, really like it. Um, I love this kind of mock neck on it, cozy knit. The color is really nice. It's, it's this kind of, it's like a cool beige tone, which I personally prefer over a warm beige tone, um, just because I think it suits me better, but also I think it looks a little bit cooler as well, um, a little bit more modern. And just really quickly shoved it with um, my Adenola stirrup leggings, Russell and Bromley boots, just because, like I said, I wanted to be cozy and comfortable. I'm just gonna get my nails done um, and then rush back and I've got to head out the house again. So this is gonna be my outfit all day. And then these earrings, Monica Vinader, my bracelet from my collection with North School Woman. Oh, and the piece de resistance. I don't know if you can see my Celine scrunchie. Anyway, I'm excited for the Celine to be having its first outing. Um, I just think it looked really nice with these colors. It's, it's this kind of same, the off-whitey balances quite nicely with this beige tone and then it's got black in as well. It just zhuzhes up um, my look a little bit. So um, yeah, I'll just 
go and grab my coat and show you what it looks like with the full look. So I think I might finish with this super duper boxy oversized one from Source Unknown Store. And then I've got my Gucci crossbody just to kind of tie in all these shades together. But yeah, this is just so oversized and cozy. I love this, these big boxy shoulders as well. And it kind of tones in quite nicely with this cool undertone as, again of top. So yeah, this is quick outfit of the day and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi everyone. So it's now Thursday evening and I think this is going to be my last outfit of the week. I've done, I think I've done seven in total. Oh, I've just run up the stairs, a bit out of breath. But we are heading tonight to watch The Lion King. This is actually my Christmas present from Tim. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's kind of, I think it's the last few times that it's going to be on in Manchester, running in Manchester. So really excited. I've heard loads of good things. Lots of people um, we know have been and said it's really good. Fingers crossed it will be. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing. I find it weird dressing for theatre because it can be really, really, really warm in there. Um, but I'm also always really cold, so it's hard to judge um, the temperature. Anyway, I've got this knit on. This is my merino round neck from Uniqlo. Over the top, my new Massimo Duty cardigan, which I'm so tempted with the striped one. It's like in my basket, ready to go, because I just think these cardigans are just... I just think they're so useful. Like this, it looks so much more than a cardigan, but but not as like dressy as a blazer or a, or that kind of thing. So this is, I, I sized up in this. I think I could go up again. This is technically a size 12. It's classed as a medium, but I even think another size would be fine. Um, my Missima kind of chunky hoops. And then I've got these jeans again that I started the video. Well, I didn't start the video with, but I wore them on Sunday. They're like a kind of barrel leg jean. Um, just because I wanted to still be really comfortable. But I thought the light jeans were a little bit daytimey and maybe a little bit summery. So I thought I'd go for this dark wash then finish it off with my by far boots and yeah that's pretty much it so we need to shoot off now um and yeah i'll catch you in my next one